Welcome to this new series from Learn and Gain on ServiceNow Event Management. In this part of event management, we will discuss about discovery and service mapping on a high level. Please subscribe and support our channel to create more educational videos. Just a reminder that this in no way shape or form should be considered as an official training material on the event management module. This is only an attempt to provide basic information on how to configure and implement event management. Please refer to ServiceNow product documentation for most recent updates. What is Discovery? Discovery finds applications and devices on your network and then updates the CMDB with the information it finds. Utilizing a specific step or phase process, Discovery uses agentless discovery to find the devices, software installations, running processes, connected supporting CIs, and keeping your CMDB up to date. The four phases of discovery are Port scan scans your ID environment for discoverable configuration items within the defined IP range. The open ports provide information on the type of device, example, port 135 for Windows, and port 22 for Linux. Classification classifies devices by operating systems. By identification identifies if the device needs updated or created accordingly. Identification is primarily based on serial number and MAC address. Additional identifiers shall be leveraged as needed. Exploration explores the device for running processes, relationships to other devices, software installed, and so on. Discovery executes a series of probes. Probes are placed as output records on the ECCQ. The mid-server downloads and executes the probes against all the target IPs. Horizontal Discovery discovers all infrastructure devices within the provided IP range and further identify, classify, and populate the CMDB. The responses are returned as input records in XML format back in ECCQ. The sensors then parse the required information and update CMDB. For example, when discovering a server, its serial number, MAC address, host name, CPU information, operating system, configuration details, disk information, and all running processes are discovered and populated. The CI class manager will provide additional information on the class definition, identification, and reconciliation rules. Service mapping, also known as top-down discovery, only discovers components specific to the service. It provides a service-aware view, assisting with discovering only the components supporting a specific service. Before we get further into event management, one should understand the difference between dependency maps versus application service map. Dependency maps pictographically displays all the dependent relationship between configuration items displays how CIs are related to each other. The starting point of a dependency map is called the root CI and has a pulsating effect. Both upstream and downstream relationships are visible and by default up to three levels of upstream and downstream relationships are visible. Application service maps provide a topological view of a specific application service. The entry point for the application service is the topmost layer followed by downstream relation of consecutive configuration items. Event management leverages the service map and binds alerts against these CIs to represent the health of the service. Common services. A model provides a standard set of service-related definitions across the platform. A service is a means of delivering value to customers by facilitating outcomes customers want to achieve without the ownership of specific costs and risks. CSDM supports the three baseline services, business services. These services are leveraged by business customers. Application services are the logical representation of an application stack. They represent a specific instance of an application, usually the production instance. Technical services comprises of the technology stack that may support more than one application or business services. Please refer to CSDM white paper from ServiceNow for more information. 
To make it simpler, consider a web application where users can perform online shopping. Business service is the layer where customers navigate through the web interface to select and purchase. Application service represents the active instance of the application at the backend supporting the web interface and transactions. Technical services are the various technological services leveraged to the host this instance of the application. It can be Windows service, network service, database service, and so on. Application services are leveraged to monitor and maintain business services in your organization. You may recollect in Event Management Introduction, Part 2 of this series, we have discussed about how ITOM suite of products help map, monitor, and maintain the business services. Every application service has an entry point that allows the users to access the application service. Service mapping discovers all services within an organization and builds a map of all components constituting these services. Application service can be created manually or automatically. In most recent releases of ServiceNow, a new capability called Service Mapping Plus is also available that leverages machine learning to build service maps. One should have app underscore service underscore admin role to build an application service. Service mapping is agentless, no agent or software required on target devices. Service centric as it discovers and maps components specific to that service. Configuration based as it does not rely on network traffic. How to create an application service. You can search for application services in the navigation search or navigate to application services within event management or service mapping. All operational services will be listed. Click new to create an application service. You need to provide a name for the application service and then select the appropriate service owner. You can create the application service automatically by providing the specific entry point, usually URL for a web application. HTTP or HTTPS followed by URL or IP address and click Add. You can also create an entry point manually by selecting the CI class and then selecting the appropriate CI and allow the system to discover and update. We are creating a manual entry point of an Apache web server. Once an entry point is created, you should see a banner message that the entry point is added successfully. The entry point, in this example Apache Shopping, is also visible under Entry Point on the Basic Information pane. We can further add CI or connection as needed or execute discovery. Here, we are manually adding a Windows server, which runs the Apache shopping instance. You can click on dependency view to view the relation. In the dependency view, you can see the pulsating effect on the web server. In order to map custom process or configurations, Pattern modification may be required, which will be covered in detail within service mapping. An application service can have more than one entry points, depending on the way it is architected. This should provide a high-level overview on discovery and service mapping. Additional information will be provided during the subsequent lessons. In the next chapter, we will discuss more on how events are being processed. Please support our channel by subscribing to create more educational videos. Thank you and have a wonderful day.